This is a typical decontamination line through the Contaminant Reduction Zone, or CRZ, also known as the decon corridor. The actual method and setup for decon used is dependent on the actual contaminant, the levels encountered, and other considerations. Consult an industrial hygienist or other experienced occupational health specialist. All tools to be reused in the contaminated area are dropped here to be reused in the hot zone. When job is complete, tools will be properly decontaminated before removing from hot zone or properly disposed of. In the first pool, use a pressure hose to thoroughly spray off all loose contaminants. Then, wash from head to toe, no part untouched. Use long-handled brushes and lightly pressurized water. Remove outer gloves and boot covers. It's important to remember, always move forward through decon, never backwards. Rinse thoroughly and using contaminant-specific test outside of suit for residual contamination. Upon negative test for contaminants, begin taking the suit off by opening suit and dropping below the waist. Do not remove regulator or face piece. Sit and remove hazmat boots. Completely remove and dispose of suit. Disconnect from regulator, remove tank, and leave the face piece on. Following suit decon, proceed to final respirator, face piece, and inner glove decontamination. Decon staff does not share equipment with each other or move from station to station. Decon staff must be decontaminated to the level that they have entered.